My name is Maurice Harley, and I'm the Education Training Coordinator here at Birmingham Public Library. And today we're going to go over um, the class is called How to Get Your Next Job with Google. Um, but we're going to talk about, or I'm going to demonstrate how you would use the Google job search feature in Google um, to find your next job. So um, we are going to hold questions to the end of class. Um, first thing I want you to do is make sure you put your Zoom on speaker view. Um, so if you look in the top right corner of your Zoom account, you'll see speaker view right there. I want you to click on that. So when I go, when I share my screen, my screen will pop up big on your computer. Is everybody okay with that? If you have any issues with that, go to, uh, send me a question on chat or unmute yourself in while you can talk. Okay. I'm assuming everybody found that. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to send a message. So if you look in your chat, you're going to see a message being sent, and it's a link to the survey I want you guys to complete once this is over. Okay, so you should see a message with a link from me to everyone um, with the survey connected. So once we're done with this, I want you to click on that link. And make sure you fill out that survey. At the end of the survey, it'll say send in answers. Make sure you send in your answers. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Um, and again, we're going to save questions for the end. So make sure you mute yourself right now. Okay, there goes David. Let David get in here. So go ahead and mute yourself if you haven't already. And then at the end, we'll ask questions. We'll let everybody ask questions. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so I'm sharing my screen now. You should see me on Google. Um, you should be on the home page of Google. Uh, so if you want to use the job search feature that Google has, the first thing you're going to do is go to google.com and you would just go to the URL section up here at the top and type in google.com. Okay. Um, next thing, I am using Google Chrome, which is a web browser created by Google. Um, you can use any web browser, but I do uh, suggest that you use Google Chrome. It seems to pop up perfectly fine every time um, I use Google, Google Chrome. Excuse me. Um, sometimes Internet Explorer or Firefox, you, you can use it, but the feature I'm about to show you, sometimes it won't pop up right away. So, for example, I'll show you. Whenever you get to Google, um, the home page, what you're going to do is type in the search box right in the middle of the page, jobs near me. Once you type in jobs near me, a box will pop up. Usually it's at the top. In Google Chrome, most of the time, the box will pop up at the very top. Sometimes you may have to scroll down a little bit, but you have to look for that blue border that you see across the top. Once you see that blue border, you're gonna click on that. Okay. And then once you click on that, this um, job search feature that Google has pops up. Um, we're gonna go over the layout first, and then we'll start um, going over, I guess, how to use it, okay? So the first thing I want to talk about, whenever you do the jobs near me, you have to have your location turned on. Um, and if you have your location turned on from your, uh, for your device, whatever you're searching from, it'll be searching from wherever you're located at. Okay, so right now we're in downtown Birmingham. My location is turned on. So you'll see up here at the top, it has jobs near me, Birmingham, North Okay. Um, on the left side of the screen, you'll see a list of jobs showing up right here. So whenever you search for a particular job or whenever we go through these filters, what I'm going to show you in just a minute, you'll notice all the jobs will be listed over here on the left pane. Okay, you see a whole bunch of listings over here. Whenever you see a job you're interested in in the left pane, you click on it and then that job will pop up in the right pane over here. Okay, so the information, everything about that job will pop up right here. As you scroll down some, you'll see they give you links to apply for that job. I don't know if you ever, I mean, I don't know if everybody has tried to apply online um, for a job, but sometimes when you try to search, apply for a job online, you'll 
go to these middle middle person websites where you're trying to apply online, but you're on somebody's like a a different site that said they will send the application in for you. Well, this will skip that. On this Google job application, you can get straight to the job by clicking on one of the links right here. So this has five different links. It should take you straight to the application. So when you click on it, Google says they want the application link to be the next button, be on, uh, be a button on the next page. So I'm gonna go to Career Builder, this first one, just so you can see. When I click on it, um, you'll see it says apply at company site. And when I click on that, apply to company site, it should take you to the application, okay? Um, I'm not gonna go all the way through it, but this, that's, a, that's one of the cool features about uh, the Google job link, that it has the links for the application right across the top, okay? Um, you should see information in the, on the right pane also about the job description. You'll see right here, it has the job description listed right here, or um, it says it'll redirect you to the job description. You'll also see the hourly wage. It has 12 hours, and this job saying work from home full time. Um, another cool feature that I like that um, I suggest you definitely take a look at is definitely if you do, do not know what career you want to work in yet, maybe you're um, researching, but they have reviews from the company. Usually at the bottom of the, on the right pane, you'll see reviews from different um, job sites that, about the job you're looking at. So definitely look at that. I think that's a really cool feature. When I click on the Indeed review, uh, the first review says, let's see, let's get out of that. Oh, this one won't let me because I'm not signed in. We're not going to do that. But usually it'll give you a review um, for the, the job you're looking at. I, I highly recommend you do that. Look at reviews before you just apply for a job, definitely before you accept it. Um, but see what the workers are saying about the organization that you're applying for. All right, so that's the layout. So you'll, again, the list of jobs will be over here on the left. And whenever you find a job you're interested in, you will click on it and then it will pop up here over here on the right pane, okay? Um, you will also be able to, once you find a job you're interested in, you may not wanna to apply to it right now, you can save the um, job. And if you have a Google account, Right now, you'll notice I'm signed in up here at the right top right corner. If not, it will tell you to sign in, and you'll just sign in with your Google account. And if you save the link, when I click on save, you'll notice that it shows up here under the saved option. So you see we have jobs, which is the home screen that popped up once we got here. And we have a save page for jobs that I saved, and that's the one I just saved right on here on this uh, um warehouse downtown immediate opening when I click save it popped up in the saved page and then alerts is something that you can click on right here when you click on alerts you come back to the job site down here in the bottom left it says alerts on this search whenever you filter out your jobs what we're, which we're about to go over in just a second you can turn this little notch on right here where it says search or alerts I'm sorry and once you turn that on any job that pops up under the search that you search for will pop up under alerts and i'll give you another example of that in a little bit but just want you to know that you have jobs saved and alerts and if you save it it's right here if you want to share the job maybe you're a job searcher for somebody else and you want to share the link to somebody else you click on the share button right here and you can send it through facebook twitter or email or you can copy this link and send it to them and it'll take them straight to this um, job application right here. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about filters a little bit. Um, you can filter out the jobs that you're interested in. Um, so in the top left corner, you'll see the first one is category, and then it has title, new to you, location, date posted, type, company type, and employer. So we're gonna go through each one, and I'm just gonna filter out a little bit, uh, just so you can see how it works and then we'll look through the list and just pick out a job for an example. Um, so under category, once you click on category, you see right here, all you have to do is hover down on top of it like I did. I didn't click on anything. And you'll see they have a lot of different categories that you can choose from. Um, I do think one of the 
um, the category. Yeah, this is the category. When this won't let you choose, for example, if you want to do management, you can do management. If you want to do sales and retail, you can click on sales and retail. Uh, healthcare. So you see, I'm, they just have different categories. So for example, I'm just going to click on healthcare um, and I'm going to click on computer IT. Okay. So I just choose those two filters and you'll notice under category, right beside category, there's a number two and then there's a little X beside it. So if that's telling you, you have two filters selected already. Okay. Um, so we're going to move over to title. Okay. So our category is healthcare and computer IT. And then we click over to title. These will be the title of the actual jobs in the healthcare field or computer IT field. So you'll see they have physicians, registered nurse, caregivers, since they're all healthcare. And then we have computer and IT, right? So we have software engineer, um, what other IT data analysis. So you'll see we have titles of positions under the categories we chose in the first filter. So if you're only, if you're a registered nurse, that means you can't, most likely you're not gonna be a physician for now. So if you wanted to only look at registered nurse positions, you would just click on registered nurse filter and that would add another number to your filter area up here. And you'll see they'll only show nurses and um, registered nurse under healthcare. And then let's say we only wanna look at Let's see, uh, IT position. Let's get data engineer. So I'm just gonna click on, oh no, let's do software engineer. So I'm gonna do software engineer. So now I have four filters together. And it should only be registered nurse positions um, and software engineers in the Birmingham area, okay? Um, new to you is something they uh, just recently updated. And I think that um, if, you, if you click on haven't seen yet, it'll only show you the jobs you haven't seen before. But right now we're just gonna keep that on all, okay? Once you start steady, uh, like job searching, because once you, if you really need a job, you need to, your job search needs to be your job. You need to search every day as much as you can. Um, and you will wanna click on that link to eliminate some of the ones you already seen. And again, if you're signed in, it saves your progress of what you're looking at, okay? The next one is location. Maybe um, if you do have location on, um, Birmingham's a big city. I'm from a small town, so um, Birmingham is definitely big to me. So many parts of Birmingham. Maybe you want to be, um, you want to only limit your search to a certain distance around a particular part of Birmingham. You see they have all of Birmingham right now, but let's say you live in Vestavia Hills and you only want to be 15 miles from Vestavia, then you can click the Vestavia link and it'll only show you 15 miles from Vestavia. You see I have 15 miles selected, and I can choose Vestavia, and that would uh, only show 15 miles from the Vestavia area, okay? Um, so obviously you can customize this depending on where you live. Maybe you don't care about distance, you want it to be anywhere, you can click on anywhere. Um, but again, if, you're, if, you're, if you want it within a particular area, you can choose the area over here on the right, and then choose the distance from that area on the left, okay? And then date posted. Um, not sure if this is a big option or not. I remember when I was, when I first graduated college, um, they would tell me you want to apply for jobs to, as soon as possible. So if a job was posted yesterday, you want to post your, or, or apply the, that day or the next day. And I guess I've been told, I don't know if that's rumor or not, that you will get a higher chance of being seen. Um, but if you're interested in that, maybe you don't care. You can just choose only the jobs that were posted within the last day or the past three days, past week or past month, but that's up to you. Um, but this um, is a feature you can eliminate jobs that's been posted on there for a long time. Maybe they're not checking it or maybe, um, maybe they have some type of hiring freeze or something, but if you wanna see something new recently posted, you can just do past day. Or if you search all the time, um, you wanna see what's new, you do past days to see what you might've missed from the last day. Okay, so type is choosing what type of um, job it would be. For example, it'll be either part-time, full-time, con contractor, or internship. So if you're looking for full-time, you only want full-time jobs, you can do that. Maybe you're looking for a full-time nurse with a part-time um, um, computer IT person or 
engineer, software engineer position, then you can choose part-time and full-time and it'll show you full-time, part-time for both. So um, just an example of that. And now you see I chose full-time and part-time. So I have six filters up here in the top left corner. Okay. Now company type. Um, I don't know if I chose two good examples for this option, but company type, for example, if you choose manager, um, but you only want to work in a particular company type, then this would be the option or the filter that you would choose from. So if I choose manager, um, manager is a broad category, but if I, if I want to be a manager in healthcare, I can choose healthcare. If I want to be a manager in information, or manufacturing, finance, retail, I can choose that company type. And then the last option, employer, um, will bring up specific organizations. For example, we chose register, or we chose healthcare, we chose registered nurse. If you only want to be at the University of Alabama and Birmingham, then you can choose Alabama and Birmingham, and they will only show the nurse positions at the University of Alabama and Birmingham, or whatever organization you're interested in with the category title um, and the type of job that you're looking for. So I think that covers the filter option. And when you're done with the filter, just let go. So I have seven filters set up. And at the bottom of the screen, you see what says get alerts for this search. If you see my mouse is at the bottom of this little blue tab. If I turn this on, I will get alerts in this area right here of jobs under those categories that I have selected. Okay, so I have seven filters. And within those seven filters, um, any job that pops up will pop here under the alert option. And they will give me daily updates as soon as they come up. Okay. And if I want it weekly, I choose weekly or instantly. As soon as they pop up, just show it. Okay. I'm going to go back to jobs. Um, now you, you can look through this list and you see we have a lot of UAB jobs because I filtered out UAB. Um, and I guess these are nurse positions in different departments in the UAB hospital. Okay. I don't see a lot of IT positions, but I'm pretty sure you could take, you can change filters or uh, take them all off. But again, I'm just going to choose one. So if I choose this general medicine nurse position, you see on the right side, it pops up over here and it gives me a description of this position. It was posted three days ago. It's a full-time job. It gives a job description, salary range, $23 an hour. Um, and then they give you typical pay for this type of job. And obviously it depends on where you stay, that could change. Um, then at the bottom, you see reviews for working at UAB, I guess in this general medicine area, it gives you reviews. And again, let me see, let's do glass door, see if it'll let me look at a review. Yeah, so you see reviews, it says I worked at UAB medicine full time for more than eight years and it has this personal reviews. And I, again, I definitely suggest that you look at reviews of these jobs. I think that's a great feature to have on this Google job search um, feature. Okay, so another thing I wanna show you, once you kind of find your job and you're ready to save it, again, you save it right here or share, you share with the share button. Um, the next step will probably be to get your resume together and everything. And we're going to have a class um, July 29th to talk about resumes. And we're going to use, if you look up here in the top grid, top area up here, the Google Apps, you click on that grid, and we will be using the feature, Google Docs feature, if I can find it, or Google Docs to create your resume. So, Definitely keep an eye out for that, and we'll show you how to use a template to create a resume um, using Google Docs. And that is pretty much it for all of, oh, one more thing. You can job search. If there's a particular job you heard about, um, somebody told you to look up here at the top, you can search for a particular job up here. Just type in the title of the job, press enter, and it'll search for the job you were looking for. Again, if you want to take off your filters, you just click that blue X right beside the number in the top left corner. It'll take off all of the filters and go back to um, the normal page or the with the, the search with no filters. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen really quick and
I'm going to open up for questions. Do you have any questions on anything I went over? No questions? All righty. Let's see. Let me share one more thing. So I do want to make sure. Let's see make sure again um, make sure you sign in if you don't have your gmail account make sure you're signed in because a lot of the cool features about saved and alerts they won't work if you're not signed in uh, once you click on those buttons it's going to ask you to sign in so make sure you signed in make sure you have your password and make sure you keep up with your password um, again i do want you to be aware of these apps a lot of people don't know that these apps are here so make sure if you don't know your password if you get in you need to change your password come to the account button right here google search is what everybody's aware of um, you also have a basically online drive flash drive with this google account you can put your photos in here you can keep track of the jobs you were looking for at google sheets um and slides is like the powerpoint version and duo is like video call okay so these are just a couple of apps that you get free with the google account and another thing i want to show you is the google applied digital skills Um, uh, Google's Digital Applied Skills is a page you can come to too also um, and they will have lessons on some of the stuff we talked about you click on lessons and search for resume building um, you can do job searching with Google that they will have little practice exercises so if I go to search for lesson right here and I just do job search Hey, hey. Use Google to get a new job, and you can start this little practice exercise to. Um, Whether you want to enter to or return use. to the workforce, pick up some side work. So that is officially all I'm going to share on my screen. But again, do you have any questions on anything uh, you've so far? No can you hear me, Maurice? Yes, I hear you, Jim. Maurice. Hey, um, the third party um, buttons there where you can share, it gives you the option of applying, yeah, LinkedIn or whatever. Yes. Does that, does it, does it matter which one you choose? It doesn't matter. Um, I guess if you have an account with one of the options they have, you can, you can choose that option. Um, but for example, they wouldn't have Indeed, like Indeed, like the only thing that had Indeed and what was the other one? Like it may have, I remember Indeed on there, but they show the the, um, the reviews under those uh, organizations, but like LinkedIn and Indeed are like kind of competition for Google. Um, so oh, okay. they'll, they won't have a link for Indeed or, or for, um, whatever right. others say it, it those were like competition so even if you use google job search i do suggest you still use your indeed.com or monster.com whatever you're using just add this into the mix like I think google wants to focus more on local um finding the jobs around you but indeed i think is more anywhere um, but the link it doesn't matter all of them will take you to the link to basically it'll take you to the link to the application but the application is going to be on the job site. So they're going to just take you to the job site. So it doesn't matter which option you choose from whatever, whichever those little blue tabs you click, it should be a button that says apply for job and you click on that and it should take you back to the link. But if one of them doesn't work good, if you get a little confused, go back and choose a different blue little pill and then choose that, choose that option to go to. Because sometimes 
it's rare as fuck. It probably only happened once or twice, and I've taught this class all last year. Um, there have been a couple of times where the link was kind of weird. It didn't take you where it said it was going to take you. So you might have to exit out, go back to the um, home page or the, the right panel where it's showing you the job and choose a different blue option. Okay. That's a good question. Okay. Any other questions? This is pretty basic. I, I missed the first part. How do, how do you get to Okay, I can show that job? again. Wait, I'm uh, Screen, you just, you just go to Google. I'm going to share my screen again. Just so, you see. so you would go to google.com. Okay. And you would just type in jobs near me. You type in jobs near me. Okay. This little blue box pops up. And sometimes it may not pop at the top. If you're using Google Chrome, most likely it'll be towards the top. If not, you might have to scroll down a little bit, but once you see that little blue bar, you click on it and it will pop up to that page that we were at. So just do job. Okay. okay. Um, hopefully if you've used Google, Google before, you've noticed uh, a lot of things you can do near me. You can do food near me, um, hotels near me, and it'll bring up something similar to that job search, but job search is the last one I think they introduced and it's a little more in depth where you can filter out a lot more. Um, but yeah, definitely use Google if you have any questions. Um, go to the Applied Digital Skills website, or it's Google forward slash Applied Digital Skills, or you can call me or email uh, the library to get questions about how to use the Google Job Search. Okay. Any other questions? All right, so again, remember I shared the survey in the group chat section. Go ahead and click on that link and fill out that survey if you don't have any questions. And if you have any suggestions, I think it leaves a box for you to make suggestions on that, um, on that survey and just make sure you hit send to me so we can get the survey results. Go ahead and try to click on it. If, you have, if it's not popping up, let me know and I can resend it out. Should be about four or five questions on there. Okay, got three minutes. I know a couple of you on here work at the library. Um, the the when you're when you're in a computer comment section, a lot of people do come in to uh, look for jobs. A lot of times I do put them on there. My biggest hurdle is that they forget their Google password. You can still use it um, to apply for a job, but again, if you want to constantly use it and save your um, job searches and everything, you need to be signed in. But um, it, it, it works pretty good. Again, I don't think that should be your only source of searching for a job, but I definitely think you can add it to your mix of whatever you've been doing already. And then again, July 29th, we will go over how to create a template resume from Google Docs. Again, you will still need your login if you want to follow along, um, but definitely tune in to show, uh, see how to create a resume. Or to just save your, you, the resume you already have onto Google Docs so you can get to it anytime you need to. Okay. All right, does everybody get their survey done okay? Yep. All righty. Do you have anything you need to add, Jim? Um, no, other than um, the next class is Wednesday, July 29th at 11, and the topic is how to create a resume using Google. So put that oh please remember to register for that on the yeah. on the library calendar of events let me, let me show this too because a lot of people don't know how to get to our calendar um okay. so let me show that really quick so i'm gonna share my screen one more time 
And I'm going to go to cobpl.org, which is our home page. And over here on the right side, you'll see it says calendar of events. And we have a lot of programs online now because of COVID. Um, you see one coming up. The recent ones will show up right here on this list. But if you want to look ahead, you can come down to see more. And it'll bring up a calendar over here on the right. And if it's a particular day you're looking for or a location, you can filter out locations. Um, and again, our class will be July 29th. I think it's on the calendar already. Yes, creating your resume using Google and you would just click on the link to register. Um, but again, we have a lot of amazing programs for adults and summer reading. So we have adult programs, um, kid programs. So definitely check that out in this calendar of events. And again, that's on our home page. You will click on the, we'll come to the right side of the page for the calendar of events. And then you can see more options at the bottom of the see more under the calendar of events. Hey, Maurice, you can click on the uh, calendar in the upper right hand corner too. Click on the calendar. You, gotta, in the corner. you go back to the home page. There where it says oh, yeah. calendar. At the top. Yeah. yeah. That's another Get way. There to too, do. and I'll bring up that option. Okay. All right. If there are no questions, that will be the end. Could you send the survey again? Okay, hold on. I see somebody. Let me send that survey again. You might have not been in the class whenever I sent it. Oh, hold on. That wasn't to everybody. We can do that one more time. Will the survey remain there? Yes, it will. Sign on? It will, as long as, as, long as you have the link. Now, the link, again, I guess I can share that right quick. I have it sitting right here. If you want to write it down, this is it right here. Let me make this bold or bigger. So that's the link right there. And we would greatly appreciate it if you go to the website. You have to make sure you put all this in, no spaces, and it should take you to the survey link. I'll leave that up for just a second in case you weren't able to click on that link. So, okay, then that's the end. That's it for me. Um, again, if you have any questions, you can contact me um, through my email. It should be on the flyer, I think still, or call the library, ask for Maurice Harley, and I can try to walk you through some stuff over the phone. Um, and again, the class, How to Make a Resume with Google will be July 29th, and we will go into Google Docs um, again, have your password ready so that you can get into your Google account. And once you get to your Google account, we will go to Docs and I'll share my screen like I have this time. And we will walk through steps on how to kind of customize your resume, how to save things, how to download it, how to print it, um, and how to make, how to edit the document um, in that class. All right. Any other questions before we end it? Can we send the survey? Um to the registrants um, email. Through, through email? Yes, we can. We can definitely send it through the email address. Um, okay. We just have to send that link that I just had to their email address. Okay. Um, so that, uh, that's another option. Tressa has a, uh, the emails of everybody that signed up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I do too. Hmm. We just send her the link and she might get whoever registered, we can just send them an email. Yeah. 
That's a good. We might could do that even ahead of time. Oh yeah, we could do that. Could. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you everybody for uh, participating. Hopefully, we'll see you again soon. Um, stay safe and see you next time. Okay. Thank Bye. you.